So this next one's gonna make people kind of upset, uh, mostly due to racism, okay? Not me being racist. I, I, I don't think I have as much racism in me uh, as the person I'm gonna be talking about here. So if that's something that gets your blood boiling, maybe step off of this video, go touch some grass, uh, go talk to some friends, spend time with family. I don't wanna rage bait on the internet. I'm going to talk about things that are important to me, and I think that it's better for people to go and be healthy with their families than being angry on YouTube. But we are going to talk about this now. Uh, well, after we get into the fan art section, Zervis says, sorry, between Vice and Surus, Surus is Alistor. <laughs> well, I guess I am. And then uh, Dorito says, exclusive Nick Fuentes with Catboy Surus, because Fuentes uh, fucked a Nazi Catboy, I guess. And of course... That also led to this piece from Mathematical Cabbage saying it was a team effort to have... Oh, my God. Everything here. Awful. Yandy Fox, thank you for the stretch. Ah, oh, my muscles hurt a lot. Jesus. Ugh. I maxed out one of my presses, though, today at the gym, so at least there's that. Anyway, as always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, let's go ahead and get right into things. It's this advertisement right here. It's this one right here. If you haven't seen this, uh, this, this thing is insane. So the premise here, the premise here is uh, Bill is our conservative speaker. And Bill Eagle, yes, thank you, Senna, um, Bill wants to deport Mexicans out of the United States. Here's how he goes about saying that. I'm Bill Eagle. I'm running for governor to crack down on illegal immigration. Okay, neat. So he begins with having a, a Mexican person translating in Spanish, beginning with rolling his eyes, okay? That's an interesting choice, but sure. Él es bilago y tomará medidas energéticas contra la inmigración ilegal. No more taxpayer handouts for illegals, period. Nada. Zilch. Zero. No más ilegales, no más dinero, no más fiestas. We're throwing them in jail and sending them back where they came from. Ay, caramba. Andre, Andre. Arriba, arriba. It's time to take Missouri back. No, this isn't a Darman skit. This isn't a Darman skit. This is... This is possibly one of the most racist advertisements I have ever seen. Also, honey, you're supposed to be asleep. <laughs> I was gonna join you in sleep after this. Anyway, no, this is one of the, again, most racist things that I have seen on the internet in a while. Now, got a lot of pushback for this. Like, I could comment on how just awful this is in general, right? Like, this is obviously a terrible, terrible advertisement aimed only at people who just want Mexicans to get out of the way and not be here. The correct thing to do with illegal immigration is to make it easier for people to become citizens of the United States. Then they're not getting tax handouts to... I don't even think we give tax handouts to illegal aliens in any conceivable way, but that means that it would be easier to tax them. Isn't that what you want? Their problem is not the tax stuff. Their problem never has been the tax stuff. Their problem has always been that these people are brown. <laughs> they want America to not be able to bring in more people in any way, shape, or form. Yes, Ralph, come here. I see that you want to be a butthole. Jesus. Look at this bean. Look at this bean. She's being an ass. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you happy now? You're getting attention? You're getting Jeff's riches? Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? Look at you. Look at you. Tail's wagging so much, you're so happy now. 
she's gonna she's gonna bark at me for not giving her more attention now. I guess I'll just have to do this entire video one-handed while I'm petting her. <laughs> so obviously he got a lot of pushback for this. Uh Cherry, maybe it'd be a good idea to leave in the dog segment, at least a, a bit of it, just because, you know. Growlithe is wonderful. But Obviously, he got a lot of pushback for this. Uh, here we have a news article on it. Jeez, Growlithe, you are breathing heavy. An ad from Missouri conservative candidate government Bill Eigel has many people talking. Eigel is seen uh, talking about cracking down on illegal immigration with a Spanish-speaking interpreter by his side. While some champion his stance on deporting illegal immigrants, others call it racist and insensitive to the Latino community. And then, of course... Uh, before we get into what he said specifically, I want to go ahead and give my two cents. This basically says that a... Uh, what does the political thing actually communicate? In a very real way, it technically communicates that Bill here hired an illegal immigrant to be his translator, which means that his firm within the narrative of this video failed to actually check the citizen status, the work status, any of that for the translator. Now, obviously the translator is just somebody who's working as an actor with Bill in reality, but the narrative of the video is really clear and really, really stupid. It makes him look incompetent, but going further into here, this is way harder to do one handed. He says, uh, well, I don't know how it could be racist to want to enforce the immigration laws of this country. It's not racist to enforce immigration laws. It's racist to specifically target a race of people in an advertisement ostensibly about immigration in this country. That's that's what it is. I don't know how anyone could consider it racist. And we're going to be protecting Missouri communities from what Mexicans from them being too brown, I guess. He then says, I think Joe Biden's non-enforcement of immigration law in America is pretty Looney Tunes. And I think the idea that we're anybody is a racist because we want to enforce that law is insane. As controversial as it may be, political experts say the ad may help them get more recognition. Some research uh, says that negative ads can actually depress turnout a little bit relative to more positive ads, but other research has shown that it can be effective in turning votes. I'm not super worried about the rest of the information here, really. Uh, what I instead want to point out is not only does the ad show him as incompetent, but in his actual statements, he's also shown to be a liar. Well, if I understand that you are upset at him too, I am as well. Jesus. So, again, for reference. I'm just trying to do this video while she's sitting here. Being a bean. <sighs> but, here. The thing that interests me most about this, more than any of that, is that he's lying about what Biden did in terms of getting people deported, right? If you listen to Bill, it sounds like Biden didn't do anything to enforce border policies. Or I guess in a lot of cases, it would be Harris who didn't do a lot to enforce border policies at all. But if you actually look at the information on migration policy, the Biden administration ramped up deportations under the standard U.S. immigration framework, Title VIII, and removed or returned 775,000 unauthorized migrants, more than any previous fiscal year since 2010. 775,000. This is a man, Bill here, wants to pretend that Biden's got loose border policies and hasn't been actually enforcing the border, but he has. He's been, ev like, his administration has been every bit the border wall outside of actually constructing a real wall that any Republican could have possibly hoped for. But it's not truth that any of these care about. It's, it's narrative spin that people care about. Political ads like this have a mixed up narrative that doesn't make any sense when you scrutinize it for a little bit. And the information given in follow-ups is straight up fucking lies. Man, it's 
crazy to me that this person even has a position in politics. I wonder if we could just say that all Republican uh, speakers are just liars now. Republican voters are fine. Often many of them don't know that this shit is what their, their party is doing. But so many of these people who are in political offices and are Republican are doing this shit all the fucking time. It is crazy to me that they get away with it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is very quick, uh, very dirty, and very annoying. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, send it to a friend, and as always, everyone, insert end of video tagline here. Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability a Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here, and they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Jemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Giuni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you. Sagittarius, I'm not saying that part. And Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.